Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? To choose your subtitles, go to the upper right hand corner to the setting button and switch on the captions and choose your language. Hi everyone, today we are going to make Machino sauce which is a traditional Parsi dish served at weddings and parties. I have taken two pommes frites which have been salted and washed. You can also use prawns if you like, but I prefer the pommes frites. We have taken one third cup of rice flour. You can also use besan if you do not have rice flour. One third cup has been taken of sugar. One third cup of vinegar. I have used sugarcane vinegar. I have ground a paste of 20 flakes of garlic with 1 tablespoon of jeera. And I have used little water to make a very fine smooth paste. It is a jeera lasan paste. A lot of oil will be used about 1 fourth cup. 2 onions which are finely chopped. And a bowl full that is a cup full of freshly cut kothmir. Also, we have used one tomato which I have cut into small pieces, small green chilies, three of them I have chopped finely and salt to taste. Let's get on with the cooking. I put one fourth cup of oil in the pan to heat and once the oil is hot, in go the onions. Stir the onions well. And we will saute them till they soften. We do not want the onions to change their color. Now we will add the jeera lasan paste and cook that for around 3 to 4 minutes till we get a nice aroma. It just smells heavenly, you know, lovely. Keep stirring and now it will be time to add the rice flour. Once you added the rice flour, make the flame low and on a low flame saute the rice flour till it gets cooked properly. This should take around 3 to 4 minutes. Keep the flame very low please. Keep sauteing till the rice flour is done. Now it will be time to add water a little at a time to make a smooth mixture. We do not want any lumps, so add the water a little at a time to make a smooth mixture. Totally we will be using around 6 to 7 cups of water. Slowly add the water and keep stirring. All this time the flame will be on low. Add the water and keep stirring. You have to stir continuously because you do not want any lumps being formed. After this we will add the sugar, give that a stir, add the vinegar, stir that in as well nicely and allow the mixture to heat gradually. Now in go the tomatoes, the chilies and the salt. We will allow the mixture to keep cooking and we have to bring it to a boil. Let it boil really well. There. Once it begins to boil well, we will put in the fish pieces. Slowly and nicely put the fish into the hot sauce. Do not stir the fish immediately. Let it cook well. Just give it a gentle stir, that's it, not much. We do not want the fish pieces to break. Now we will also add some nice coriander leaves, quite a bit of them and we'll leave some for garnishing. Once we have done this, we'll stir the dish. I hope you all are enjoying this. Now we will cover the pan and allow the fish to cook for around 10 minutes. 
So folks do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. It's been 10 minutes now and we shall remove the lid. There, our sauce is ready to eat. The aroma is just heavenly. I tell you, you must try this dish. It's wonderful. Also bring in your nice comments. Let's plate. Nicely. Be very gentle when you're handling the fish pieces. We do not want them to break. So folks, I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.